Hi, I'm Chrissy and this is Paul. Follow us on our adventures as we travel from the UK down to New Zealand on our sailboat, Crazy Ivan. We moored Crazy Ivan in a marina in La Linea, which is directly next to Gibraltar. To the ancient world, Gibraltar was known as Mons Cape, one of the legendary pillars created by Hercules as a religious shrine and as an entrance to Hades. To many, it signified the non plus ultra, the end of the then known world. We went over the border to Gibraltar for a number of days exploring and one day we went and did the usual tourist trips. You've got to love these little furry guys. St Michael's Cave was long believed to be bottomless. This probably gave birth to the story that the Rock of Gibraltar was linked to Africa by a subterranean passage under the Strait of Gibraltar. The famous Marquis Monkeys were said to have come to Gibraltar through this subterranean passage. It has been in use as a theatre since the early 1960s with a capacity for 600 people. At some point during the history of the cave, part of the stalactite became too heavy on one side and fell possibly thousands of years ago, but now lies on its side at the far end of the main chamber, cemented through the years by nature to the floor of the cave. In 1972, a slice was cut off from the top end, which revealed the interior structure of the stalactite. The skywalk was a little unnerving, a bit too high for me. The Great Siege Tunnels in the British Overseas Territory of Gibraltar, also known as the Upper Galleries, are a series of tunnels inside the northern end of the Gibraltar Rock. 
They were dug out from the solid limestone by the British during the Great Siege of Gibraltar in the late 18th century. they did. A little hole up there for someone to peekaboo. go on for miles and miles. World War II tunnels. What, which way should we go? Is that just a room or? Oh. Uh. oh gosh. It is, it's enormous. Echo! Echo, echo! The tunnels accommodated what amounted to an underground city. The entire 16,000 strong garrison could be housed there along with enough food to last them for 16 months. We're walking along the World War II caves that are on the Gibraltar Rock. Tunnels rather, yes, the World War II tunnels. Had to wear a silly hat. Man stopped us and made us put it on. Ooh, where do we go? Gosh. Which way to which way? Which way for you? That way? Or that way? Let's go this way. This is amazing. Can't believe that people cared for. Can't believe that people lived down here and had operations down here and yeah. <laughs> Look at it, it's just horrible to imagine what people actually went through and suffered. Absolutely horrific to think what people went through and suffered for our liberty that most people take so readily for granted. Within the tunnels, there was also an underground telephone exchange, power generating station, a water distillation plant, a hospital, a bakery, ammunition magazines, and a vehicle maintenance workshop. This place just doesn't end. Goes on and on and on. The total length of the entire tunnel network inside the rock is approximately 34 miles. 
55 kilometres. Fortifications on and around the site of the Moorish Castle were first built in 1160 or earlier. These were however destroyed when the Spanish reconquered Gibraltar from 1309 to 1333. The Tower of Homage, its main feature, dominates the hillside and from the landward approach to Gibraltar. A rebuilt tower dates primarily from about 1333 AD when Abul Hassan recaptured Gibraltar from the Spanish. On another occasion, the Count of Nibella attacked the castle, was captured by the medieval defenders and his body was suspended from the walls in a net used for carrying straw. old streets and pathways. 